We are going to look at one more thing with this or with this particular lesson after we look at slope dude. And we're going to look at slope in terms of graphs and we're just going to sort of look at how we can deal with slope on graphs. A couple of things. These two lines are technically the exact same line. The only difference being that I am looking at these sort of steps here, sort of smaller steps, whereas on this other graph, I am looking at bigger steps. Now, how do I know if they are the same? In other words, I need to sort of prove that this line is the same as this line. A couple of things that I can look at is I can say, well, I could look at each of these points and say, well, are these points the same on here? And I could say, okay, well, I have zero, zero. This one goes through zero, zero. This one goes through three comma two, three comma two, ah, oh, same thing. This one goes through six comma four. 6, 4, same thing. And I can actually look at all the points that they all have in common. Now what I can also look at is just simply the slope. We know it goes through one common point, which is helpful, and we need to have at least one common point. And then from there we need to look and see in the look at the slope. When we look at the slope, we often look at what's called the rise. So if I'm thinking steps, I'm looking at how much something is increasing, like the tread height versus how much it is increasing depth-wise. So the tread, this is the tread height of a step and this is the tread depth of a step. Tread height, tread depth. So each time it's increasing by two and it's increasing by three. For the height it's increasing by two and its depth is increasing by three every single time. Whereas I can look at this one, the height of this step is increasing by four and the depth is increasing by six. So in other words, I can look at this and I can say 2 over 3 is my slope for this, but this one is 4 over 6. Hopefully you're looking at these two fractions and you're saying, well, but Miss G, this fraction times 2 on the top and the bottom gets me this fraction. Good. That means these fractions are equivalent. And another nice word for equivalent means that this fraction and this fraction, if I were to simplify them into their simplest form, which this one I'd have to divide by 2 on the top and the bottom, I'd get the exact same slopes. 2 over 3, 2 over 3. They are equal to each other. They are equivalent. Okay, You're going to be looking at some slopes on some graphs in this um, in this, um, in your must-do problems, and you're going to be asked to find the slope, and I want you to attempt to do that given this idea of, like, you look at the tread height versus its depth. In other words, you're looking at the rise of this stair versus the run of this stair. Um, so rise over run, and from that I want you to find the height and the width of each stair and find, essentially, the slope. Cool? Cool. Have a blast doing that. Attempt the must-do problems. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask, and I will see you all later. Bye!